Massive, live on YouTube around 4 p.m. EST, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Follow for notifications. So, we're playing some more of this awesome game, Transformers Devastation. And take a look at Optimus. Just look at him, look at him. He is beautiful. He looks just like his G1 counterpart. <laughs> That's fantastic. Anyway, Autobots, we have a mission. So let's go ahead and let's go on that mission. And actually, we've got a little bit of a secret here. Nice! We had to do a body slam to actually uh, to actually get that. And look at this transformation. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Whoa! Was not expecting that. We got some heavy damage on us. Let's take down a few of those for next time in case we have to go back through there. Had to use our auto blaster for that. And it looks like we are starting this live stream with a boss battle. Or at least a mini boss battle. We have some of Megatrons! Uh, Cybertronian arms here that are trying to discombobulate us and tear us apart. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually destroy these things. Luckily they kind of uh, telegraph their attacks before they actually start them. I don't believe it's actually necessary to destroy these, but why not? Why not? Excellent. No, it is not necessary, but we did get some energy packs, which is fantastic. We can now use those energy packs to reload our blaster weapons should we need to. And I'm okay with getting as many energy packs as we did. We're not going to destroy that other uh, Cybertronian arm. Another time. I can't believe they got the original voice cast. I can't believe they got the original voice cast. Let me see if I can raise the volume of the voice cast because it's so good. Yes, we can. Oh, yes. Let's go ahead and lower, uh, let's lower some of this stuff and keep the voices at 10 because I want the voices to be as loud as possible. And let's, uh, let's save those settings. Excellent. And not only do the like G1 characters look like uh, look like the cartoon in the anime, but so does the so do the surroundings. I mean, this city looks just like the anime did, or the cartoon, whatever you want to call it. Let's go ahead and do a vehicle attack. Excellent. So in Transformers Devastation, not only uh, do you have like combos and like quick time events and all kinds of uh, stuff like that in the fights, but you also have the ability to customize your weaponry. You can combine weapons and you can do vehicle body slams. But yeah, you can find weapons in the wild, you can combine them and create even more powerful weapons. You even have elemental weapons. You have cryo weapons, you have heat weapons. You have swords, you have hammers, you have battle axes, you have all kinds of different types of blasters. You have machine gun blasters and you have nice slow-mo dodge. You have parries. It's just, it's just so good. It's so cool. And we got a rank C on that combat. So we've got to try way harder next time. Okay, looks like we know the way to go. Optimus, let's face the music. Let's see if we can take Megatron and his cronies down. These are new. Oh, mines. I haven't seen those before. Thanks to those mines, we actually did not have to break open that K-on gate. It did it for us. Look at all this loot. I'm not sure I'm liking the mines though. I mean, they're useful right now, <laughs> but how long is it gonna stay that way? I have a feeling we're gonna have to turn some tight corners and we're not gonna be able to see those mines that easily. Let's go ahead and take the mines down now. I mean, there might be some enemies that pop up where it'd be useful if we had them, but still, we don't want to get taken down by them. And look at this, Optimus's blaster actually pops out of the top of his cab, and that is so cool! He, he has... Yep, it would have been it would have been useful. I should have trusted it. But that's alright. We have ranged weaponry to take care of the Decepticon Scott. Let's go in for a vehicle attack. Beautiful and welcome, massive family. I don't believe I actually... Had the pleasure of welcoming you guys to this live stream and also welcome future YouTube viewers, future Transformers fans that are joining us for this 
awesome, awesome game. It is an amazing experience, and it's been a lot of it's a lot of fun, like experiencing this game with you guys. Like we're all on a virtual couch together. It's just so cool, and I've been looking forward to this game since I saw uh, screens of it because I love like the Transformers cartoons. I have watched every single Transformers cartoon. I've watched Beast Wars. I've watched Robots in Disguise. I've watched G1, G2, Armada, Energon, Cybertron, Prime, you name it. I have to say, I like Transformers Prime, however, I do prefer the original cel-shaded, hand-drawn style of animation that we saw back in G1 and, and Armada. I feel like Armada, for me, was the pinnacle, just because it had these awesome, like, reflections in the windows, and these amazing armor reflections. I mean, look at his armor, look at that metal, look at the reflections on it. I love it! I am just fangasming over this game. I'm a big fan of High Moon Studios Transformers games. This is by Platinum, however, the makers of Bayonetta 100, Wonderful 101, uh, games like that. And of course, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. But yeah, Transformers Cybertron and War for Cybertron. And even the movie, the Bay Universe movie Transformers games. I've been a big fan of all of those and I've completed all of those games. And I was so psyched to hear that we were getting another Transformers game. Beautiful! Just smash through that K on gate. Alright, we're gonna have to do something a little special for this. So, in order to break through this barrier, we're gonna need to... Barrier break it! Excellent. Hey, we got a rare ranged weapon. Two rare ranged weapons, that is awesome! Alright, let me see what you guys are saying in the chat room. Thundercats. Oh man, if we got a Thundercats game like this, that would be so hard. It's evolved on a divergent path from our own. It's oh crap. Not from the Decepticons. That Megatron doesn't understand it any more than we do. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Oh my god, Peter Cullen! Ah! He's so good! Oh my god, Peter Cullen! I can't believe that. I can't believe they got Peter Cullen for this. Uh, you know another Optimus Prime voice actor that I like a lot? Uh, Armada. Whoever voiced... Whoever voiced uh, Optimus in Armada did a really good job, I think, because he really captured, like, what Optimus was all about. Like, crap. You know, forget it. We don't need to break those things. He really captured what Optimus was about in terms of leadership and how he treated his, uh, his, his companions. And look at that. That glare, the way that that is kind of, like, dreamlike quality. You know, it's not completely focused. It looks like, it looks like the cartoon. It looks like a still from the cartoon, and that is amazing. More like, it actually looks like a still, uh, a still from the cartoon movie. Transformers the movie. That's what it looks like. There it is. Hey, that's our objective. That's what we've been looking for. That... Sentry bot. Okay, we gotta do our best to take that sentry bot down, and unfortunately, we have a lot of sky bots that are trying to attack us. Let's take some of these sentry bots down. Sweet uppercut! Autobots, let's cut them down to our own size. Wait a second, is he, is he going the other way? Oh, he's still going. I did not realize that. I thought he was gonna be like on patrol, but no. Sadly, we did miss uh, some of those mines, but let's see if we can get some of these other mines and just take the... Ah, we were too late. We actually need to reload our energy weapon. This is not an easy game. It, it's tricky. It's tricky, and I like it. You, you actually have to, you have to have some skill. You gotta either have some... Uh, some dexterity or reflexes some damn this thing is so fast something like that and I appreciate that I really do I respect that okay gotta transform we're out of EN again you serious already all right we're just gonna have to switch to the grenade launcher excellent grenade launcher was able to do it and we got a rank B that's not too bad is this game worth buying? If you like Transformers, yes. The ship's entrance is now open. On my way. 
on my way. <laughs> if you like uh, High Moon Studios Transformers games, then I would say yes. If you're on the fence, I would say give it a rental. Give it a rental. Try it. Try it. Because it is, like, a lot of fun. It is really good. It's an excellent Transformers game. It's... Oh. Uh, well, I guess I should say it's an excellent Transformers game, but it depends, like, what type of a fan of Transformers you are. If you're a fan of the original G1 series, then, I mean, it's a no-brainer. If you're a fan of the Bay universe, it will... It may still appeal to you if, if you really like Transformers. Alright, we're gonna smash these shields. Excellent! Uppercut! Beautiful! Let's go with our swords. Oh, unfortunately those shields went back up, so we're gonna have to actually charge them once again. Shield Breaker! Vehicle attack! Nice, two for one sale. However, the entrance is now open. Let's get inside. Insecticon! Whoa! I cannot believe this! Alright, Insecticons. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you're made of, Bot Brains. We've got Insecticons that we were fighting against, and. Oh, it's just so cool! It's just so cool! Whoa! They have got some amazing attacks that we're in the middle of dodging. It appears as if they can actually stun us with these lightning attacks. Most impressive. Excellent finisher. Whoa, we've got a lot more uh, Insecticons, actually. I did not realize how many there were. It's, it's actually getting kind of difficult to block their attacks. Excellent grenade throw. Beautiful dodge. We need more of that. It's actually really awesome how you can see them, like, transform and go back to insect mode at will. That is so cool. The details. The devil is in the details, and this game has details. Another beautiful dodge. Ooh, did not dodge that soon enough. Ah, we gotta be more proactive about that. Let's just wait for it, let's wait for it. Boom! There we go. Yes! <laughs> Vehicle attack. Vehicle finisher. Excellent. Got another rank of C. We need to be more stylish. Here we go. Proud Star is now open. What do I think about Far Cry Primal? I hope they mix up the Far Cry gameplay. Autobots. Welcome to the Proud Star, the great ship of Nova Prime. It can't be! Y you mean an Autobot ship is responsible for all the destruction in the city? It appears so, Wheeljack. But I doubt it was an Autobot hand that caused the destruction. Another Cybertronian ship crashed on Earth? What are the odds? Nova Prime's mission was to preserve our culture. The Colonnade of Cybertron was a covenant between all Cybertronians. The Colonnade is comprised of the essential aspects of our lost Cybertronian heritage, and it was placed inside the Pharaoh Taxis, the supercomputer that controls the Proud Star. The Pharaoh Taxis literally carries our culture inside of it. What an historical find that would be! So much art and beauty and history has been lost to find it again. The Pharaoh Taxis controls both the Plasma Core and the Insecticons. It directs the power and gives the Insecticons their function and purpose. Okay, so we find the Pharaoh Taxis and what? Destroy it? It's got so much of our culture in it. We can't do that, can we? No, we can't! We find the Plasma Core and shut it down! Shutting down the power is the most surefire way to stop the cyberforming! Then we locate the Pharaoh Taxis and preserve our culture, as Nova Prime intended. But for now, stay focused. There are more floors to this ship. 
We split up and locate the plasma core. You heard Optimus. We gotta split up and locate the plasma core. I really hope we're able to play as Wheeljack at some point. Wheeljack! Wheeljack! Look at his headlights. Look at his headlights! Look at his cartoon-ass headlights! I love it. This game is just a delight and a pleasure. And it's eye arms. candy. They appear to be on the move. Whoa. Those swarms of Insecticons, though. Did you see that? Oh, no. What is it, Optimus? Felt like the Matrix itself just blinked off and then back on. There is a darkness here. Something that has permeated this place. And the Cybertronians who lived here. We will deal with it later if we must. Wow. Ominous much? <laughs> My name is Ominous Prime. <laughs> Leader of the Ominous Bots. This is getting kind of creepy in here. Look at this. Look at what Megatron has done. This is his culture too. This is the culture of Cybertron. Their people. Why would he do this? It just... It's just insanity. The definition of insanity. He was like, I know! I'll go ahead and fill the Nova Prime, the Proud Star, with all kinds of Insecticons for no reason, just to terraform Earth. Come on, Megatron, are you serious? You're not that insane, are you? He's like, like Bayformer level insane. Starscream 1, what was that? There's all kinds of secrets you can find in this game. I don't even know what we just saw. Whoa, look at this platform. You know what? We're actually gonna... We're gonna go back to uh, the Ark for a minute because... I wanna see if we can play as Wheeljack for one. And another reason is because we've got a ton of weapons. Look at this. Look at all the rare weapons we've got. Check this out. Oh, I guess we only have one rare weapon. Never mind! <laughs> still, still, it's it's cool. Alright, so guys, take votes. What do you want to see? Optimus Prime? What are we waiting Bumblebee? Right. Side Swipe? Or Wheeljack? Nice I'm kind of leaning to a Wheeljack. But before we actually, while you guys are deciding, I'm going to go ahead and synthesize some of our weapons. Now, what synthesizing weapons does is it upgrades them. And it makes them more powerful. Oh my god, look at Devastator's drills. Base weapon! Let's combine it with cryo gloves? No, let's combine it with steel gloves. I'm hoping it, it's raising its stats. I can't tell if it did raise its stats or not. Let's go ahead and select uh, Devastator's Drills again and combine it with Cryo Gloves. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Definitely going to synthesize that. Alright, we got a vote for Sideswipe. And a vote for Whalejack. And a third... And a, No, that's a second vote for, uh, for Sideswipe. Two votes for Bumblebee. Let's combine it with something else. Sweets! Almost a level 5. Alright. One, two, three for side swipe. A lot of votes for Bumblebee. We got four votes for Bumblebee. But it looks like either Bumblebee or Wheeljack won. I, I think one, two, three, four, and then Bumblebee is one, two, three, four, five. Wait, well, there's one more for Wheeljack. Now Wheeljack is at five. Both Bumblebee and Wheeljack are at 5. And look at that, we upgraded Devastator's Drills to level 5, so that is awesome. Nice! We're making these things as powerful as we can make them. Look at that, it's almost to level 6. Okay, looks like Wheeljack won. Wheeljack did win, we got a bunch of late votes for Wheeljack. Wait, there's, there's two more votes for Bumblebee. I think Wheeljack did win though. We'll play as Bumblebee next, after Wheeljack, because Bumblebee got the second most amount of votes. So, we are going to be playing as Bumblebee very soon. Let's check out what kind of stuff we can upgrade here. So, we've got a uh, Heavy Blaster, 
And where is that rare weapon that we got? I can't see if it's common or rare. I'm not sure exactly where we find that. Let's go ahead and upgrade our energy launcher if we can. With the freeze sniper rifle. And it is now level 5. Awesome! So a big part of this game is like finding weapons that you like and upgrading them, combining them with other weapons, like raising their stats. And there are so many stats, there's so many different like, I don't know, factors when considering a weapon. There's attack power, energon power, who can use it, who can't use it. It goes so in depth, rate of fire, shot speed, recoil, range, max energy, energy on attack. It's just awesome. And of course you got the level, you got the rank. You got skills that the weapon may have. Looks like the energy launcher can be equipped by Wheeljack, so that's pretty cool. Let's see what we can combine the uh, heavy blaster with. Let's go ahead and take the heavy blaster level 6 and then we'll, we'll get started. You can hold up to 200 weapons. That is crazy. Alright, Heavy Blaster is at level 6. Should be good for scrapping bots. But now I want to get the Energy Launcher to level 6 as well. I'm hoping one should do it. Yes! Excellent! We have two ranged weapons at level 6. And one melee weapon at level 6. Cool. We got all level 6 gear. We're going to be equipping those weapons for Wheeljack right now. Alright, so we got a ranged energy launcher. I'm not sure why these are red. I, I would like to know what that means. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna put the heavy blaster there. Wait, what? Oh, crap. We gotta use the bolt machine gun. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Now we've got everything we want on Wheeljack. And let's add Devastator's Drills and give him another melee weapon as well. Let's give him the Lightning Hammer, which he cannot equip. Okay, let's give him the wrenches. That's pretty cool. Wrench weapons. All right. Looks like we're ready to roll out. Autobots, roll out. Let's return to gameplay. This will be the first time we are playing as Wheeljack. And I am very excited because Wheeljack is the man! Look how, look how cool he is. Look how cool Wheeljack is! He actually looks like, I think, uh... So in the 90s, there was this Transformers cartoon called Robots in Disguise, right? And there was this, this SUV, this off-road SUV, and I think it was called Wild Star, or Wild Style, or something like that, or Wild Run. And it had the same colors as Wheeljack. And I always wondered if that was kind of supposed to be Wheeljack. Because it had Wheeljack's colors. Didn't look like this, though. Didn't look like Wheeljack's amazing car. Oh my god, no way. Thank you. Sound wave. Tell us what Megatron is, sound wave. Oh, holy crap. We are fighting Soundwave right now. This is so dope! Ravenger, no! That, uh, that's what his tape is called, right? Ravenger and... Nice, we took one down. Ravenger and Laserbeak, I believe. Oh, he's got missiles! He's got his missile launcher! That's also a battery. Oh, that is so cool! That is so cool! Yes! <laughs> Soundwave! I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're about to be scrapped! Vehicle attack! Nice! Let's follow up with some heavy punches. He actually dodged our punches, but we dodged his attack. And I'm gonna switch to another ranged weapon. Whoa! That weapon is powerful. Let's bring him down to our size. Uppercut. Vehicle attack. Sweet. Nice. That's how it's done. Another attack. 
You're no match for us, Soundwave. Good guys always win. Uppercut. Oh, yeah. Darkest timeline, baby. Oh, crap. Oh, that is not good. Man, if we didn't dodge there, I don't know if we would have made it. Rank C. Soundwave, I need you here. The others can take care of them. Understood. Abort mission. Soundwave's running away. Probably the smart play. <laughs> oh my god, I love you, weird Jack. The ship and the ferrotaxis that operates it. He now commands the Insecticon. Maybe if we blow that ferro... What's it up? It'll stop Negatron. No. We go to the plasma core and disable it. The Ferrotaxis has the sum total of Cybertronian culture recorded within. If at all possible, we must preserve it. Yo, where did that, uh... So these things always, like, make a secret pop up somewhere. Do you see how fast that is? Look at this. That's fast. Where exactly is uh is it hiding? No, that is insane. There's no way we could even leave the area that quickly. So you hit that thing, right? As long as it's beeping, um there's there's something in the area that is hidden. And that is now revealed while it's beeping. And only while it's beeping can you actually like uh get that secret? So, that is not beeping nearly long enough, and I actually feel bad. We just destroyed a little innocent Insecticon. Another one! A third one! Wheeljack! You're a murderer! The dust looks really awesome, too. Something's got the Insecticons riled up again! They no way! This is an Insecticon birthing room! All right, we have to do our absolute best with these Insecticons. They are highly dangerous, highly hazardous, and honestly, if we're not careful, we could easily get out of here with severe injuries. Vehicle attack. Sweet. I think we actually hit him with our missiles. Oh, awesome. I didn't even know that, but look, we've got a shield. <laughs> that is so cool. Let's finish this guy off. Excellent. Follow up with a vehicle attack, and that is a beautiful finisher. But there's more where that came from. We have tons of Insecticons to take care of. <laughs> Let's take down Kickback. Do you see, like, Wheeljack's vehicle attack? It is so dope. He, like... He, he's, he's firing out of his vehicle before he actually comes at them. Yeah, let me show. Let me show you guys. Check that. You see that? You see that? Did you see that fire? That is so cool. I wonder if we can we can fire out of the top of our vehicle. Of course we can. Let's go for an uppercut. Vehicle attack. He fires his missiles at the Insecticons before he actually like hits them with his car. He softens them up first. Let's be careful not to step in that orange or purple glue. Thought it was orange goo. I don't know why I said orange. It's obviously purple. The Decepticons are messing with my receptors. My visual receptors. You remember how awesome the Insecticons looked in War for Cybertron? Oh, they were so cool. And so are the Dinobots. All right, this shield should help us out a little bit. Beautiful. Oh, that uppercut was just in time. That Insecticon that we just uppercutted into oblivion was about to uh, launch some nasty stuff at Wheeljack. Wheeljack is actually getting obliterated, so you know what? We're going to go into our maximum overdrive mode. And we tossed a bomb! We made a bomb, tossed it, and blew up all the Insecticons at once, finishing the challenge. Sweet! Got to be a way up from here. Interesting. 
Looks like we have a small amount of time to reach the next platform. Beautiful. Oh, I don't feel good about this one. Ah, oh, just made it. We may have scuffed ourselves up a little bit in the process, but that's all right. Look at Devastator's drills on her fists. That is sick. That is morbid, but awesome. We use the weapons of our enemies. Uh, this isn't... Okay, so... It... Transformers uh, difficulty or Transformer Devastation difficulty is a little interesting because it's not just the difficulty is not just like moving on to the next step the difficulty actually lies in how well you do it like there are a lot of different uh, a lot of different factors that they look into when grading you and it's like Devil May Cry level grading and difficulty because Getting a good score is not exactly easy. You gotta be fast, you gotta do it with style, and you gotta do it with some decent combos, and also, not too- are you kidding me? I'm so impatient. Ah! What? Anyway, you can't- you can't take too much damage either. That's where the difficulty comes in, in, uh, Transformers Devastation. However, you can also raise the difficulty. We're playing at normal right now. So you can also make it hard to uh, hard to live. But it's already kind of tricky to live in boss fights. It's just in between is not as tricky. In between is definitely more of a, a challenge type thing than it is a challenge of living. Beautiful! We got our shield. And we are just bashing these guys apart with it. Getting some good AoE here. Excellent. Let's see if we can go in for another uh, vehicle attack kill. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle attack kill. We are, however, getting pummeled by their energy weapons. Excellent. We finally did a successful dodge and parry. We did miss our window for a vehicle attack opportunity, but that's okay. We got another one right now. That is another Insecticon down. Come on. Nice. Ooh, we should have dodged that. See, he already fired off his rounds before we started attacking him. I thought that if we started attacking him, we'd be fine, but we were too late. Excellent dodge. And we got a rank of C. We got a rank of C, and I, we did objectively decent. Like, I thought we were going to get a B or a B plus, but we got a C. That is how seriously you got to take this game. You know, one does not simply walk into Transformers Devastation and expect to do good. No. Uh-uh. This looks just like the toys. Just like the toys. We could have came over here and used the turret. That's why we did so bad. They thought we'd be using the turret. If we'd been using the turret, we would have, uh... We would have made sure work of those Insecticons. Oh my god, what?! Let's go ahead and use our uh, use our turret to take these guys down. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, this is fun. This is like an arcade game. Hell, this could be a Transformers arcade game right here. If arcade games are still popular, this would definitely be one of them. Are they like suiciding? Because it feels like they're suiciding. This is getting kind of creepy. Somehow we just got another... Uh, Whoa! We just got another melee weapon. Oh, the explosions are so good. They are so good. This is a triple A title right here. This is a great A animation. Thank goodness we don't have to reload. And the gun! The gun feels like I would imagine it would feel like if I was watching this right now and not playing it. Yeah! Keep them coming, Megatron! I'll scrap these bots, no sweat. Looks like I'm the exterminator today. 
Rank S. Nice. Finally, another S ranked. Somehow. Ancient Decepticon. It appears Scrap the plasma on. energy is increasing the Insecticon strength. It's huge! Better luck next time! Ha ha ha! Yes! Whoa! Wheeljack is on fire! Get all the Wheeljack! Look at him, he's going in slow-mo 24-7. I don't think he's even been hit yet. Come on, come at me, come at me. Oh, he's, he's been hit. He was just hit. Beautiful dodge and parry. Nice. Go, Wheeljack. Vehicle attack. Nice. You got this, man. You got this, buddy. We've got one shot left. Rank ass. That was a wonderful fight. With our last shot, we took him down. Find the plasma core. All right. Oh my God! Look how cute they are. Oh, they're so adorable. Look at them. They're buddies. They're little buddies. That's so cute. Man, that was awesome. Let's see what this thing is. Oh, this probably just lowers. It probably just creates that like in the stairs, doesn't it? Oh look, it did. Kind of. I like how when you step on them, they actually like depress. See that? That's a nice touch. It's a nice touch. Ancient Insecticon, Bombshell. Defeat Bombshell and proceed forward. Well, that seems straightforward enough. Also, Bombshell looks like a badass. Look at him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bombshell is nobody to be toyed with. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, our first opening. We just got our first opening. I need some more energy. I'm gonna use some energy right now. We got five energy packs. Excellent. In fact, let's use one more energy pack. Nice. My beautiful, beautiful parry. Whoa, that was not beautiful, however. We just took a heavy hit. Holy crap. Whoa, this guy is huge. Somebody's been eating the greens. All right, I'm going to actually give ourselves another repair kit because, wow, this guy's kicking our hide. <laughs> He's kicking our shiny metal ass. Didn't even do that parry right. There we go, finally. Did a decent parry. That did not go at all like I planned. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This, uh... This fight is not going well. Wheeljack, transform! Get out of there! I'm gonna wait for him to come to me. I'm, just, I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna... I'm gonna fight this like I should be fighting it. Yes, there we go. Unfortunately, I was out of ammunition. I mean, we're dodging it. We're just not doing parry dodge. There's parry dodge. But he was too far away for us to actually, like, be able to get hits in. Vehicle attack. 
Yes! Okay, we are slowly doing some damage on Bombshell here. Whoa, that is not good. Come on, Wheeljack. Yes! That's the stuff! That's the ticket! Every single one of our grenades has been missing this guy. He's too mobile. I gotta use another health pack. We've got no we got no choice. Can't believe this dim spark bot is taking our uh, taking our wheel jack out. I am not dying. I am not dying. I'm gonna I'm gonna use another repair kit. Good thing that we did too, because we are taking a little bit of damage, but we're finally getting uh, we're getting some more good hits in. So I'm happy about that. Still though, still so close to dead. Just one more hit. Yes! And we got a rank of C. Mm -mm -mm. At least we're alive. We could be in a junkyard right now. Or worse. Frankenstein into one of Megatron's minions. Hey, we got a chest. Let's open it up. What kind of goodies you got for me? Some new melee weapons. That's alright, I guess. To be honest, I would rather have some health. Oh, are you serious? Alright, we gotta be patient about this. So as soon as that falls and it opens... Ha ah, still clipped us. Still clipped us. Focus prophecies. Please don't be true. Please don't be true. Please don't be true. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be freaking out right now if I were you, Wheeljack. Um. Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. All right. See those things that are retracting into the wall? We gotta jump on those to get across. Hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Up, oh, hope. Ah, oh, just in time. Whoa! Well, our time was sure lived. All right, let's try this again. I'm not exactly sure which direction we're supposed to go, but we cannot land on this size. We have to land smack dab in the middle. One, two. Oh, just made that. Fantastic. Uh, this game is on the Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, I believe. We're playing it on the PlayStation 4 right now. Also, good news, guys. Until Dawn sold better than they had anticipated it would. So, a sequel is being talked about. Which is awesome. By the way, we are going to be doing a horror live stream of that for... And I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to say horror live stream. I meant to say horror. Horror! We're gonna be doing a horror live stream of that for our Ghastly Gaming special. I do not like this, Sam. I am. I do not like this. Green eggs and ham. Ah! Yeah. Although I would not mind green eggs right now. Oh no! I, I mean, as long as they're just colored green, like, I don't know, St. Patty's Day eggs. I would not go for spoiled green eggs. Goodness, no. I don't know who would. I mean, maybe if you starve. I mean, obviously, if you're starving, maybe you'd go for spoiled green eggs, but you'd puke your guts out, so would it even be worth it? Probably not. Ah! Oh, 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 good. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. I almost fell again. We're not the most graceful Autobot on the Force. That'd be Sideswipe. Or maybe Bumblebee. He's a scout. 
Sideswipe's a warrior. He's certainly agile with his blades, though, which is pretty fun. Hey, what's this? Guys, Looks like another chip. We might have a problem. With the unpredictability of plasma energy, there's a chance that if we blow it up, it'll take half of Earth with it. Uh, define chance. My figures aren't precise, but at current calculations, roughly 92.787% chance it will detonate. Bottom line, use extreme caution around the plasma core. Okay, so they just telegraphed us that a humongous explosive boss is coming in. We have one repair kit. We're at half health. That's all we got. And uh, uh, Delmion just asked, is it worth something? The graphics look a, a, a bit like PS2. Well, the thing is... Um, like, when you're actually playing this in person, or when this is uploaded as a video and it's not live stream quality, I'm streaming at the highest bitrate I can, I can, so this will look pretty good as a video. But, I mean, the graphics are actually amazing, because I grew up watching Transformers, the cartoon, and this... Oh, this looks just like Transformers, the cartoon. And that was so good. I love the Transformers, the cartoon. And... It's so accurate. It's so accurate, the, the fact that they were able to, like, get actual, like, talented artists to make this look just like the cartoon did is awe-inspiring to me. Because they nailed it. Alright, you guys wanted to see Bumblebee, so it looks like... We're gonna have to fight as Bumblebee. I was hoping we'd fight as Optimus for this boss, but you asked for Bumblebee, so here we go! Let's go ahead and choose which weapons he's gonna have. Let's not use those level 1 weapons. Instead, let's give him a heavy blaster. Oh, I gotta switch Wheeljack's weapons out before we can actually use Bumblebee. Alright, so, Wheeljack, why don't you go ahead and uh, equip something else? Equip the basic machine gun and basic machine gun. There. Good enough. Bumblebee! Go ahead and equip the best weapons you possibly can. Bolt machine gun. And... Heavy blaster. Oh, G Optimus, are you serious? Megatron must be stopped. <laughs> Did you guys hear Optimus just now? <laughs> he's scratching his chin, he's like, Megatron must be stopped. Is that what he's doing in his spare time? He just scratches his chin. He's like, hmm, that Megatron, he must be stopped. People are like, Optimus, you okay? <laughs> Megatron must be stopped. Okay, Optimus, yeah, we know. We're, we're trying to stop uh, Megatron here, but you okay? Megatron. <laughs> oh, Optimus. I love you, man. All right, Bumblebee. Oh God, Wheeljack, are you serious? You 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 What's Autobots are like children. Give me your damn fists and let me put something else on him. See this? You can you can equip anything. All right, you can equip anything. I don't care what you equip. I'm trying to give Bumblebee the fists. You guys want a Bumblebee? This is what we have to do to get. What? What? Let's go. What? You guys want a Bumblebee? This is what happens when we do Bumblebee. We gotta do all this stuff to get Bumblebee. Okay. Two minutes later, we are finally able to equip what we want to equip on Bumblebee. There we go. Mmm. What kind of range weapons can we put on his, uh... Let's put a basic blaster over there. Why not? Let's just load him out with, uh, with ranged weapons. Okay, so it looks like we can't actually equip or develop tech yet. Let's just go back to gameplay. Let's uh, let's choose Bumblebee. Begin mission. So Callie's saying that she hears the goblin slash rocket raccoon slash city thug voice and everything lately. Thing is, though, when you hear from Wheeljack, that's because that's how Wheeljack is sounding. Like, he's the OG! He's the OG, they're copying him.
Agent Insecticon, kick back. The bee versus the grasshopper. My credits are on the bee. This is actually perfect. It is Bumblebee versus a grasshopper. Yo, Bumblebee, you can do this. Bumblebee, the Autobots believe in you. We will not interfere with this battle. We believe you can take care of him on your own. All right, so Bumblebee is going one-on-one -on -one with this guy. Mono el mano, cause cause uh, I mean Bumblebee, he's he's fast, but so is Kickback. Bumblebee, you're getting some nice shots in, man. Excellent dodge. Kickback's fast, but we're faster. Nice vehicle attack, Bumblebee. Whoa! We just slipped between his legs, went around the back, and got some nice shots on him. Oh crap. Reinforcements? Really? You gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding. This is insane. This is insane. Whoa! Bumblebee is almost dead. Do we have anything that'll help him out? We don't have anything. I gotta use hard coat. And just maybe, maybe we'll be able to do this thing. <coughs> nice dodge, Bumblebee. Vehicle attack. Excellent. No! Bumblebee is down. We gotta retry. Mm. We have no med kits left. At least it spawned us from this this part of the boss battle. Sweet! Excellent. Vehicle attack. Good follow up, Bumblebee. Nice dodge. Keep at it. You can do this, B. Come on, B. This poor, this poor Insecticon, I mean, we're not, it, we're not even dodging his attacks, and it's going into slow-mo, and we're kicking his ass. Not the Decepticon, Insecticon's attacks that we were dodging. Holy crap! Holy crap, Bumblebee is dead again. Wow! We're in for a world of pain. We're in for a world of pain. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Didn't take any damage from it, luckily. Excellent. Okay, we got a successful dodge. We're doing our best to get some nice heavy hits in. Excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. Whoa, Bumblebee has been hit. That is another successful dodge. We are doing our best to parry vehicle attack. We did a double vehicle attack against this Insecticon. We're actually going to get out of here and regroup. Come on, fire at me, fire at me. Yes! Follow up with a vehicle attack. Second vehicle attack. Sweet! Alright, Bumblebee is doing pretty sweet. You're doing great so far, Bumblebee. You got this, B. Yes! That is how it's done, B! Alright. Uh, we're still in trouble, though. If, if you don't believe we're in trouble, then you need to get your eyes checked. Get some glasses. Get some new optical receptors, because... This battle has just begun. Look at that damn grasshopper Insecticon. Kickback is unreal. He is too fast. It's OP, it's OP. Come on. Nice. We just took down two Decepticons. We have one Insecticon left. Excellent. We are shocking him to death. It looks like this bot is about to be scrapped. Nice slow-mo dodge. And it looks like he's going to be finished off with one, two vehicle attacks. Whoa, this Decepticon is almost down. Crap. No! Are you kidding me? Oh, we were so close. 
Yeah, this is on PS4. Reinforcements? Really? Come on, come on. There we go. That's how it's done, B. That's how it's done. Vehicle attack. Follow up secondary vehicle attack. Oh, unfortunately, B was still caught in the explosion. Doing some nice damage against Scrapnello. Nice. And we went into slow mo again. Come on, kick back. Come after us, man. Nice slow mo dodge. B is still hitting him. He's getting those devastator attacks in. He missed his vehicle attack. Unfortunately, bam, there it is. A double, a double vehicle attack against the Insecticon. Kickback. B is getting hit hard, though. Luckily, he did a successful dodge. He went into slow mo, used his ranged weapon to shock the Decepticons a little bit. Very shocking display of force by B. Kickback is on his way. He's going to try to take down B. But B is ready for him. Excellent dodge by Bumblebee. He is laying some heavy attacks with Devastator's Fist. Going in for a vehicle attack. That is a second vehicle attack by B. And a third parry. Another wonderful double up follow up on his vehicle attacks. Unfortunately, B is almost down. But that is another successful dodge by B. A second consecutive successful dodge. And B is dead. Oh, this is this is tough. This is tough. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So we died a few times. So what? Reinforcements. Really? B wouldn't give up. Bumblebee wouldn't give up. So you know what? I'm not gonna give up either. Where it gets tricky is uh when you can't see him. I mean, as long as you can see him like this, it, it, it's not too difficult. But, when they actually get out of your line of sight, when they're just surrounding you and you can't see what attacks they're doing, you can't really, uh, you can't really dodge him that well. Getting some good attacks on kickback. Bumblebee has just dodged another attack. He is shocking Shrapnel. And Scrapnel is down! Scrapnel was scrapped. Bombshell is just get he's just bombing over here. But uh B went in for a double vehicle attack. B is going in with his devastator fist, and he is down! He's going in for a double vehicle attack on kickback. He is just kicking his butt. Look at that. That is some amazing slow-mo parry going on right there. Oh, B is going for a vehicle attack. That is another double vehicle attack. And a shocking end to kickback as B is taking out his ranged weapon and just shocking him. It looks like kickback has kicked the bucket. B scored a rank of B. Gotta get that core. Hurry. Break the crystal shielding and pull it out. Admittedly, you've gotten further than I expected, Autobot. But no matter. The Insecticons will feast on your electrons. B sounds so cool. Do give up already. I can't believe how cool B sounds. Like, <laughs> he sounds just like him himself. It's amazing. I guess, yeah, that's because it is him. That's the original voice actor. But, still, still though, the fact that he can do that voice so well is just incredible. Really a testament to how quality the voice actors are for Transformers. That is just so cool. So cool. This game is a delight. One of you guys asked the price a little while back and I forgot to answer. We're in the middle of a boss fight. Uh, it's around 40 to 50 bucks. Something like that. I'm sure the price won't stay high for too long as... This has kind of been flying under the radar, unfortunately. It's not gotten the recognition it deserves. So keep an eye on it. As the holiday season comes up, if you see it on sale, don't forget about Transformers Devastation. Because the Transformers wouldn't forget about you.
And we just broke open the Kaon Gate. The Kaon Gate is down. Another Insecticon has bitten the dust. B is doing the absolute best he can to break this thing open. You got this, B. We gotta, we gotta follow up with the vehicle attack. The vehicle attack is the only thing that's strong enough to break this. Come on. One more time. Double vehicle attack. Come on. Crud. Doesn't seem like that's enough. Alright, you know what? Let's just go in for everything we got. Regular attacks, everything we've got. We gotta get through the shielding before we can actually continue to attack the thing itself. Come on, B. Yes! Alright, so this whole place is going to come crashing down unless we break open the shielding now. Rank of SS. Beautiful. This plasma core is Decepticon property. I will not let you put one rusty finger on it, Optimus. The ship is powered down for now. But if we allow Mechatron to retrieve the Plasma Core before we find it, our victory here will not matter. We must move quickly. Good old Megatron, onto his nefarious schemes. <laughs> if I can't win, neither can you! That's just the nice type of guy I am! Chapter 2 completed, special rewards. Rare ranged weapon, and it's a small blaster. Perfect for B. Look at that. It looks like it's a plastic toy. So does that sword. It looks like a plastic transformer sword. That looks like a transparent red transformer sword. Oh, Grimlock! Grimlock can now be played. That is amazing. That is incredibly exciting. And we got a new mission in challenge mode. Sweet! Oh, right, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's 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 go to Grimlock. Grimlock smash! Oh, that's adorable. Look how cute that is. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. All right. What well, can you equip? Really wish you could just equip that. Oh my God, Bumblebee. Yes, you can. Yes, you can equip Devastator's Drills. Oh, thank goodness. Galaxial Launcher. That sounds awesome. What... What rank is Galaxial Launcher? Galaxial Launcher is rank 1, unfortunately. Let's give him this Small Blaster, because that would be funny. And let's actually synthesize the Small Blaster. Where is it? There it is. It's a rare weapon, so it's, it's 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 pretty decently ranked. Let's go ahead and synthesize it with Galaxial Launcher and a few other weapons. Alright, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Let's synthesize it with six-shot missiles. Looks like Soundwave's weapon. Nice. Transform and roll out! This game is called Transformers Devastation. All right, nice. That is rank five, so we're we're gonna leave it at that. That is that is good. That is good rank. But you know what? There's something else I want to synthesize in range. Let's synthesize cryo missiles because that sounds like fun. Let's synthesize it with a lightning machine gun. Look at that. Awesome. Hell, let's do that again. What else do we have to combine it with? Basic spread shot. Sure. This is really ranking it up. That is amazing. Cryo missiles are perfect for Grimlock. Okay, that's all we can synthesize for now. So let's go ahead and give Grimlock cryo missiles. And he's already got the small blaster. So that's good. That's good. What rank is that? Level 5, level 5, level 6. 
All right, good stuff. Grimlock is ready. Game start. What's the plan, Optimus? For the time being, the cyberforming has slowed. But Megatron will undoubtedly go after the Plasma Core to start it again. And it sprung a leak before it ejected! Even if Megatron never gets it, we still have to shut it down! We should scan for Deceptor Creep activity. That Plasma Core eject button wasn't targeted. Megatron's gonna need someone to go pick it up. Split up! and find a Decepticon. When using Grimlock, dodge with perfect timing and press circle to grapple and toss an enemy. You can also accelerate this in his dynamo by tapping circle rapidly. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Look at him go. Oh, look at him run. Oh my God, look at Grimlock run. He's like, I gotta take a shit. I gotta take a shit. Oh, God. Where's the damn toilet in this place? Oh, God. All right, let's 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 transform. And bring out his small blaster and take some of these things. You know what? Let's just run through. <laughs> we made it. And we didn't have to spend a single energy. Heck, yeah, you should watch the Transformers movie, man. Can we just walk past these? Yes, we can, because they're not proximity mines. Look how strong Grimlock is. He can just walk. Like, most uh, uh, Autobots like have to actually... Um, like, drive at a very high speed. To get past those huge wind turbines. But Grimlock can just walk past it. The claws still got juice left, even with the core removed. Looks like most of the cyber forming has stopped. Not all of it. It's continuing on reserves. And the Ferrotaxis is still fully operational. Sweet. All right, we're going to transform so we can body slam into this. All right, so in midair, we got to transform into T-Rex mode. Here we go. Yes! Excellent ground pound, Grimlock. You should be very happy. Oh, nice melee weapons. Whose brilliant idea? Whoa! Whose brilliant idea was it to uh, have Transformers transform into dinosaurs? Because that is such a good idea. Such a good idea. I'm trying to dodge in time so we can get some extra, like, bonus attacks. I'm gonna try that one more time. Alright, ready? Shouldn't have tried it. Shouldn't have tried it. Nice headbutt. There we go. That's what I wanted. Beautiful. Look at all these deceptive creeps. They're going on a bombing run. Unbelievable. I actually have no idea how to stop all these guys. They're too fast. Guess we'll just have to be faster. Nice. Uh, we're out of energy, so you know what? We're just gonna forget these guys. What is this? Grimlock, go. <laughs> go, man. Go, you got this. You got this. Poor Grimlock. Hey. Proud Star 5. Cool. Thundercracker, you dumb and weak. Me crush you. All right, we just caught wind of Thundercracker, and we're gonna capture him and get uh, get him to tell us the uh, location of the core. Come on, come on, come on, Thundercracker, get down here, man! Oh wait, wait. What we'll, we'll the mine? What we'll the mine? Yes. Thundercracker is kind of dumb and weak, though. So, Grimlock, 
That was very astute. Very astute observation, buddy. Doing a good job. Where's Thundercracker? Oh, crap. Thundercracker actually shot the mine that we were near. It can't be that dumb. Oh, no! Grimlock! Oh, come on. You almost made that. Oh, just barely made that. Oh, no, Grimlock. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. You just gotta focus. All right, you ready? Oh, damn it. Damn it, Grimlock. Okay, transform back into Dynamo. That's right, that's right. No, don't flip off. You flipping me off? Come on. There you go. That's right. That's how it's done. It's showing on my mini-map that Thundercracker is up here somewhere. Oh, wait, there he is. We just spotted him. And holy crap. Grimlock has fire breath. He's got his fire breath. Damn, he's fast. I'm trying to get him in my maw, but I'm having a little bit of trouble doing that. All right, we gotta catch up to him, let's go. Come on, Grimlock, move out. I wish we could go that way. There's no shortcuts, though. We just, we just gotta find him. No, Grimlock, that's the wrong way. This is the way we gotta go. He should be... Did he just change directions? I think he just changed where he was coming from. Yeah, he's he's flying around, I guess. Maybe we can get to him from over here. Did he see that? Did he see that? He was right next to me on the minimap. Where is this guy? There he is. Alright, we found him again, it looks like. Kind of. He's still a little ways away from us. Come on, Grimlock. Do not let him get away. Yes! Yes, just no! Ugh! Grimlock! Ah, damn it. No way, he's still here, he's still here. That's right, that's right, that's how you do it, that's how you do it. Yes! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Did you see that? He picked him up, and he smashed his face in the asphalt. And dragged him. Today is a good day to join our cause, Thundercracker. My loyalty only goes so far. Tampering with plasma energy? That's madness. Wow, that took like no convincing at all. No wonder they call you Thundercracker. Very funny, Pipsqueak. No one should have that thing. You want to get it, that's fine. So long as you promise to get rid of it. I think we could handle that. It's on the island. Megatron sent Blitzwing after it. You're closer, so you might be able to beat him there. I know the island. Only way onto it is to cross Liberty Bridge. Sounds like fun. God, I love Thundercracker. I remember from him from uh, from Cybertron, especially they they give gave him a little bit of a bigger role in Cybertron. Uh, welcome, Marquise Bacon, who just joined up, and welcome Jimmy Carrera, who also joined the live stream. Welcome, guys. Good to have you with us. So let's say, the number one choice for sensitive skin, Bluebird Lotion. That definitely looks like an ad from the '80s. That looks like an ad from the 80s. Oh, that is so goddamn cute! Grimlock just picked up a family SUV in his mouth. Oh, that's cute, Grimlock, but set it back down, boy. Grimlock! 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 Set it down! Set it down, Grimlock! Do not kill the family! Grimlock! Set it down safely, Grimlock! Grimlock, I swear to God. 
I swear to God. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. You could have killed that whole family. Grimlock, no! What are you doing? Grimlock, no! Do not kill that! Good God. Good God, you just murdered a family. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get to this bridge that somebody was talking about. Who's talking about again? I, I, can't, I think it Bumblebee was. Hey, nice. Nice. We got some unlocks, we got some new weapons, and I think an energy pack. Energy pack will definitely come in handy. However, I would definitely like some, uh, some health packs. Health packs would be useful. Looks like we are headed the right direction. Hey, wow, we imitated a mystery object. Cool stuff. <laughs> Good job, Grimlock. Alright, you got one more target though, Grimlock. You ready for this? You ready for this? Oh, nice one! Grimlock's taking these Decepticons down like there's no tomorrow. Alright, so we've got a K-On gate. And we need to do a shield breaker. Sweets! That item also has a K-On gate. Nice. Wasn't too difficult to take down, luckily for us. Alright, this one will be a little more difficult, because we don't really have a lot of space, but we did it anyway. Let's actually use our fire breath against these. Come on, come on. There we go. I didn't realize the fire breath was that powerful. It's beautiful, though. Do we have unlimited fire breath? I think we do. I think we have unlimited fire breath. That is amazing. Alright, Grimlock. We need to smash all these things. You ready for this? Go! Autobots, roll out. Excellent. Damn! I don't know how we're going to get to that chest, but good job. Okay, that's going to be a little difficult. I gotta admit, that does not look easy. Oh, so close. So close to getting most of them. That one worked out a lot better for us, though. Ground Soldier! Heavy Weapons! Do you guys remember how awesome the tank looked in the first Transformers movie? Like, holy crap, that looked amazing! And Grimlock is just wrecking it! Look at this! Look at this! Yo, our boy is fighting out here like a million bucks! He hasn't even taken a hit! Oh, Grimlock just, just took a hit. He just took a hit. But still, look at our boy! Look at our boy! Look at him dodging and attacking like a million bucks. This is amazing. Look at him fighting in this ring. And that is another hit for Grimlock. But he is going for a slow-mo parry dodge. And he's taking this guy down with his devastator fist. Beautiful. That is an excellent finish. But we've got a lot more ground soldiers where that came from. There we go, that's what we're looking for, that beautiful slow-mo parry dodge. Grimlock gotta be a little more careful though, because he, he's getting his butt kicked. There, that's more like it. That's more like it, yes! Oh, Grimlock, he was lifting his legs up, he should've gone for a crotch shot, man. If you would've gone for a crotch shot, he'd be reeling right now. He'd probably be on the ground, curled up in a little ball. Excellent dino attack. I love that headbutt. Loving that headbutt action, Grimlock. Still, I do not like how beat up he's getting, and we actually lost that thing. Grimlock's size did... It did kind It was kind of flexible. I mean, sometimes the Dinobots would be really big. Sometimes they wouldn't be quite so big. It's kind of like Megatron. G1 Megatron size would kind of 
fluctuate a little bit. My god, this guy hits heavy. Alright, we gotta be more patient. Because if, if we dodge like... Like that, just in time, then uh, then we'll be good to go. But if we don't, we're done for. Alright, come on, come on. There we go, that's what we want. We want to be very cautious, calm, cool, collected. Waiting for his attacks. Dodging as soon as he attacks. Doing some good parries. Nice. Alright, let's keep this up. Good job, Grimlock. Alright, we got more enemies. We got that. Uh, we got that heavy ground soldier. And the regular ground soldiers. Another nice dodge. Getting some good AoE attacks in. Yeah, see, now that our boy ain't cocky anymore, now he's fighting like a million bucks. Just like we always knew he would. Excellent dino attack. That was a successful dodge, not a successful parry. Oh, we dodged right into that. Alright, we are on the up and up, though. We are coming back. We are back in on this thing. Oh! I'm gonna go ahead and give ourselves some health because uh, we're about to die. Let's let's be a little careful. Oh man! There we go. There we go. See, you're good, Grimlock, but you need training. You need. You need to want to. You need to know when to hold back and when to give it your all. Right now, you're just a little too cocky. And I'm really talking about myself right now. You're just too cocky. That's why you keep failing. You gotta. You gotta wait for your opening. You're just not waiting for your opening. You gotta. You gotta take your time and be tactical about things. They're setting up defenses around the island. Why not just move the plasma core? Probably trying to patch that leak before they move it. That's what I do. Hmm. I think I might have a plan. We passed red energon back a ways. That stuff goes boom. Teletran 1, scan for red energon. Scanning. There are two caches nearby. Warning. Decepticon activity detected. Maintaining visual surveillance. Oh, what? Oh, this is awesome. Look at this. That's so cool. By the way, some of you guys were asking if I played Battlefront. Yeah, we did. We definitely did. We're going to be playing more Battlefront 2. Uh, well, I mean, more Battlefront T-O-O, -O, not the letter 2. But yeah, it is an amazing beta, and check out our videos on it. We got some awesome footage. We even have a guide. If you guys are uh, playing Battlefront, check out our guide. We got as much stuff as we could get into that guy, packed it chock full, and it's really everything you need to know about the Star Wars Battlefront beta, or Star Wars Battlefront in general at the moment. Until the game comes out, like, I have as much information as I can in, in that guy. When the game comes out, I'm gonna make a new guide, and, like, it, that will be complete for the game, but this is complete for the beta, so check that out if you can. And like I said, we'll be playing more Star Wars Battlefront, of course. Nice. One Insecticon down. Beautiful. Yo, you got this, Grimlock. Just take him down. Take him down, man. Use your fire breath. You know what? Screw it. Forget your fire breath. Just, just kill him. Just kill him! Thank you. Good God, we got a D on that. This top-down perspective is fun, but I gotta stop treating it like it's 3D. I gotta start treating it like it's top-down. I'm, uh... Oh, there's a lot of stuff up there. Let's go ahead and go through it. I'm, uh, not treating this right. I I'm, I'm, I'm treating it like it's, uh... Like it's still 3D, but it's top down. 
I need to adjust my fights accordingly. I cannot see where I am in the world. I cannot see how high or how low I am. Ah! Oh, so close. I don't know how we're supposed to get up there, though. Is that how we were supposed to get up there? Is that the only way? Yeah, that is the only way. Oh, crap. Well, we gotta do this. So let's do it. Okay, so we jump up here. We press X to jump, right? Oh, man. We gotta hug this wall as much as we can. Boom! Boom! Ah! This is challenging. You gotta be a decent platformer to, to make this. There we go. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff though. Alright, let's go ahead and let's grab that energon. Further analysis suggests that this energon has regenerative properties. After exploding, it will regenerate for multiple uses. Oh, awesome. Holy crap. Oh, this is not good. Screw you guys! I'm going home. We're just gonna walk past them. Forget them! Forget about it! You made me drop my energon! For that you will die! But I, I'm not leaving my energon up here either. I'm just gonna take you guys down first. Come on, come on, come at me, come at me. Crap, we're out of energy. Uh, I guess just lift this up with us. Ah, now it's down here with us, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, great. Well, now that it's down here, I don't have to worry about falling. Come on, guys, this isn't fair. Get down to my level. I'm a dinosaur. I can't fly. I'm a damn T-Rex. I'm a humongous T-Rex. This is not fair. What, what, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? People are insane. Got a rank C. Minute 22 seconds. As you can see, we did not complete it fast enough. The reason we got such a low rank was because we took too long. You gotta be fast in Platinum Games. They expect you to, like, take care of this combat like that. Which is really impressive, just like... Oh, god damn it! It's just really impressive how, um... How seriously they take the combat. That's really cool to me. Whoa! Beautiful attack! Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna come back in and do another shield breaker on these guys. Hopefully they group up. Let's do this thing. Come on. Grimlock smash! Dino attack! Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! Boom! The Zedekons is taken down. Can I carry this in my mall? Oh my god, we can, and it looks so cute. Look at that. We can't run with it, though. We can't run with it. Matt Siv, will you play Overwatch? I will be playing Overwatch AA Ron. I'm pretty excited for it. My girlfriend is super excited for it. Like, she's been following uh, Overwatch's development for, since, since it was announced. Oh my god, I can't fight like this! Please! It's so punishing! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is how I'm gonna die. Top down perspective! Ah! Ah! I was never very good at top-down perspective games either. Whoo! Wow. <laughs> that was close. Oh no way, there's two more. Back before 3D games were really popular, I I was I was in trouble. I I was in trouble when it came to top-down and side-scrolling games because I would 
I just, that's not how I, that's not how I gamed, man. I just did not game very well top down or side scroll, and I needed to be more three dimensional than that. I, did, I was not very good at two dimensional games. Conversely, though, I mean, three dimensional games can be kind of tricky too because, like, with such a huge degree of, of movement and motion. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of room for error, you know? God damn. Good lord. Look at this punishment we are withstanding here. Finally. Oh, crap. We're dead. We gotta retry this thing. No! No way! You don't mean... Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, hell no. Oh, okay, I don't see any enemies. So I guess we just have to run? Okay, I'm guessing we just have to run. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. No, that's not Far Cry 5 that was announced. Far Cry Primal is kind of like Far Cry Blood Dragon, where it is... Like a spin-off title. I'm pretty excited for it. I just I just really hope that they uh, that they mix up their gameplay because I've been playing a lot of Far Cry. Man. I've played Far Cry since the first iteration. And I played Far Cry 2 a lot, you know? Played Far Cry 3, obviously. I was kind of burnt out on Far Cry by Far Cry 4. And by the time Far Cry 4 came out, I was already a little burnt out on it. So I really hope they change up the gameplay a lot. If they change up the gameplay a lot, I'll be happy. Uh, this game is Transformers Devastation, Aaron. Aaron, I mean. <laughs> it's that Key and Peele sketch. I, I, every time I see the name Aaron, I just, I'm like, Aaron, a Aaron. <laughs> well, better set this down. Time to fight. Oh, finally. Okay, we're starting to get this right. You gotta do it just in time. And I'm not the best, uh, I'm not the best person at timing. This game is extremely unforgiving. And look at this, we've got three people to dodge now. I mean, we are doing a lot better though. Like, a lot better than we were. I said that too soon. I said that too soon! No, but seriously, we are doing better than we were. This game is serious, though. Like, you, you've got to be on your toes. you got to be paying attention. I mean, I could, uh, I could play... Transformers Cybertron or War for Cybertron. I could play those games passively. You cannot play this game passively. You cannot play it passively. This game is not about ranged. Wow! This game is not about ranged weapons. This game is about timing. It is about precise movements and combos and parrying and dodging and melee. Okay, we got rank C. Whew! At least it's complete. <laughs> At least it's complete. I'm just grabbing these, because why not? Alright, Grimlock, grab that energy on block. It's highly volatile, so don't blow it up. We just gotta take this to the bridge and clear the bridge so the Autobots can get across. Is this where I put it? Air Commander, Starscream!
I've long waited for the day I could fight you all myself. Prove my worth to Megatron! Holy crap. Will smash you like we are fighting Starscream right now. He was trying to prove his worth to Megatron. What's that Deceptor and Gun symbol over there? What? What is that? What is that? Can I get over there? No, I can't. I don't know what that is. Whoa, nice attack. We are just smashing Starscream around in our in our Dino Mouth. We got him in our Dino Maw. Let's see if we can do that again. Check this out. Ah, oh, we, we missed. Yes! We're thrashing him about and slamming him to the ground. That is brutal. Whoa, that's a brutal attack he just did to us. Beautiful missile dodge. Where's Starscream? There he is. Nice. Come on, Starscream, is that all you got? Another beautiful dodge. I'm hoping he can get down here so I can, like... There we go. Use my flame breath on him. Meet beat you up. You overconfident fool. <laughs> Classic Starscream. <laughs> Calling me the overconfident fool. I want to grab him again. Yes! Oh, we missed our grab. Here we go. I think the faster we actually do that, the uh, like the more damage we're actually dealing to him. Which is pretty awesome. Trying to shoot him out of the sky. Proving to be a little more difficult than I anticipated. Nice! Starscream's health is half down! I would be terrified if I were Starscream right now. I mean, Grimlock is just kicking his butt. Whoa, successful missile hit. Ironically, Starscream also got a successful missile hit as soon as we did. Good miss, good, good miss, good miss. Alright, we have a few more missiles left. Making them count. Oh, they missed. He's a little too fast. But his health is very low. And he is down. Another day, Otto Crunch, crunch, yuck! His scrap is rusty! <laughs> Head to the island. Make your way to wherever Megatron is and whatever he's doing. Triple Changer, Blitzwing! Get ready for me! Me Grimlock hate tanks that fly! Grimlock, I am feeling you, man. Tanks that fly are the worst. Wow, he looks so cool. Oh, the triple changers were awesome. Imagine a toy that can, uh, like, change into a tank, a fighter jet, and a robot. How the hell are we supposed to attack this guy? I don't understand how we're supposed to attack this guy. He's 
he's just really tough. Wait, am I not supposed to attack? I, I am supposed to attack him. Okay, okay. Come on, though. This is this is hard. This is really hard. There we go. That is a nice dodge we got. And Dino Attack, Dino Attack. Ah! Come on, open fire, open fire. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. There is a successful dodge. Wait, are we supposed to be just attacking that 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 fighter jet? Because I, I thought uh, uh, Blitzwing was, like, I, I thought he triple changed into the tank mode. What's up with this fighter jet that's flying alongside of us? No, this is Blitzwing, I'm right, I'm right. Don't know what's up with the fighter jet, though. Really not getting that. Now he changed into his fighter jet. Yes! Whoa! Alright, that's not even fair! Talk about fighting like a Decepticon! Oh god! Don't worry, Grimlock, man. I got you. I got you. We got this together. Blitzwing doesn't stand a chance! Look at those smoldering pillars of Decepticon missile fire. Oh crap. Oh crap. Blitzwing is so close. Yes! Rank B. Not too shabby. Oh, don't worry, Rexita Games. The chat is... it's its not hostile. We got a good massive family. It's just sometimes... You know, stuff happens. There it is. Oh, I'm gonna feed you your own spark, Autobots! Let's go! Blitzwing's not down yet. Uh, you got that right, Auto Scum. Blitzwing, you strong. Me stronger. No more fooling around! Wow, Blitzwing is just done. He's like, I'm sick of this on a bot Decepticon crap. I just want to earn an honest living, being evil or 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 being good. I don't really care. But all this infighting is just too much. I'm sick of it. We've been fighting for years! That, those, those are Blitzwing's thoughts on it. That, that's how he's feeling about this whole thing. Come on, Grimlock. You got this. You got this. Oh, nice body slam. And Blitzwing has switched to his Blitzwing triple changer mode. And back to tank mode. Do not like tank mode. Whoa! Did you see that? He can fire his tank missile while he's in robot mode. That is amazing. Humongous cryo missile he shoots out. You know what this game is? This game is how people played with their Transformers. And that is just so much fun. Oh no. I hope we have some items. Thank goodness, we have some uh, repair kits. I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those repair kits so we don't die. And charge him head on! You know what, let's switch to, uh, let's switch to Grimlock mode. Grimlock's dino mode. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, Grimlock, you've got this! 
Yes! Grimlock, yes! Believe in yourself, man. All you gotta do is believe. Oh, crap. Grimlock is frozen solid. We're gonna use another repair kit. Because I believe in Grimlock. I believe he can do this battle. He can win this thing. Beautiful dodge, Grimlock. See, I told you, man. I told you you can do this. <laughs> Blitzwing is now down to half health. Whoa! Blitzwing just performed a very Grimlock attack against Grimlock. Oh, it, it's, it's getting serious now. It's getting serious. We have one last health pack. One last repair kit. This is it, Grimlock. If you don't scrap this bot soon, unfortunately, we will not win this battle. I don't know how many of you guys played up. Uh, whoa, War for Cybertron, but that was a fun game that was uh that was an awesome transformers title and you could actually play as grimlock in that game which was sweet i believe you could play as multiple dinobots and i enjoyed that game a lot that's actually a game that i i think about now and then because of how much fun it was playing war for cybertron like that was that was a good game. That had good game design. That was fun. I mean, the fact that they worked in that you could play as a fast moving car, you could play as a tank, you could play as a jet, you could play as a as a as a dinosaur. That's pretty amazing stuff. We're gonna mix up uh, our attacks with some ranged attacks. Alright, I'm shooting off some missiles at this guy. Beautiful, we hit him with all of our missiles. Excellent dodge. <clears throat> Grimlock was hurt. Yes! That's it, Grimlock! Oh, God. You got this, you just gotta get in some good hits. Dino attack! We were both at a sliver of health, and it's almost two hours, so this will be the last thing we do in this live stream of Transformers Devastation. Oh, I'll take you down, Blitzwing. It's the last thing we do. I'll take you down. Still, we both had a sliver of health. I cannot believe that he's the one that took us down. I could have... I could have sworn, if you would have asked me what was going to happen, I would have been like, yeah, we're going to take him down. He's got a sliver of health, come on! His attacks hit, like, us harder than our attacks hit him. So, truly, we are outmatched. See how clever his attack is, like... Before he actually, like, dives at us, he takes his jet through Cryo Crystal. We have no health packs this time around, by the way. Oh, that attack. We dodged it, but we didn't go in slow-mo. Oh, 
Are you serious? We were doing a dino attack, and he like... Oh, no. We were doing a... A, a, a dino attack, and he, uh... He, like, hit us, and, and stopped it. Which I have, have, I have no idea how he was able to, like, actually do that. Holy crap, he got us again. We're gonna end with a win, though. We have a little bit of time to do this. And we'll be doing end of the stream shoutouts as well. And Dina just left an awesome comment. He said, you make me feel happy because I get bullied at my school and I watch your videos. And it, uh, helps you get, it helps you get through it, man. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about those bullies, Dina. Seriously. Like, people, people deal with their problems in all kinds of different ways. Some people are strong enough to deal with their problems head on. Like Optimus Prime says, sometimes you have to face the music. Bullies are people that don't like to face the music. They got problems, they're humans like everybody else, but, I mean, they can't deal with things the way other people can, so they gotta, they gotta take it down, like, take other people down, they gotta, they gotta take out their, their worries, their sorrow, their anger, and be negative about it. They're just not strong enough, but you can be, you can be stronger than they are, just do your best to ignore them, and stick up for yourself where you can. But, don't get all stupid in the head of battle like they do. And that's all you can do? Unfortunately, they're, uh, they're everywhere, and they're not just going to be in school. The best thing to do is to lead a happy life. This guy's getting tough. Nice bombing run, jerk. Yes! It's not like I can go in the sky, too. That is a successful dodge. Oh, thank goodness for that attack. Whoa, he hit us hard. All right, you know what we need to do? We need to get our cryo missiles out. Oh! We finished with a rank D, but we did finish it. That lightning could be lethal. No one's gonna congratulate Grimlock? Really? Wheeljack, find a way to get that thing off the planet. I don't want it on Earth any longer than necessary. Hey! Starscream taking the core wasn't a part of any of my ideas. That coward! Smart coward, though. I mean, he does have the core, we don't. Result of Chapter 3, Rank D. We did bad, but we had fun. That's what really matters. I'll go back in some of these chapters and try to improve my score and practice a little bit. But thank you guys for tuning in for this Transformers Devastation live stream. It has been awesome. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below and stay tuned. Subscribe for our next episode of Transformers Devastation. And hopefully we'll be covering some LEGO Dimensions soon, because I am a big fan of LEGO. And there's Back to the Future, there's Doctor Who, there's Jurassic Park, there's all kinds of awesome things in Dimensions. It's just the perfect combination of licenses for a fun video game. I'm going to do some end of the stream shoutouts before we end this thing off, so shout out to Monster Under 3000, Jimmy Carrera, Dina Tidmore, Truck Mugen, Shout out to who else we got? Jani Venho, Hootow22, Feds the Gamer, Aaron Stewart, Jordy Portillo, GS5. Shout out to Steve Petticord. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome 80s, 70s retro music in this game. 
It's sweet. Shout out to Ethan Littleton, Baki Janosevic, Skylar Jensen, Christian Nothling. Shout out to Shiloh. Wait, Shay. Sh Shelly. Sh Shelly. I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at names. Uh, uh, Perida broke their leg in this video. Cheer them up. Thanks for making my day. No, thank you. Thank you for being a massive family member. The comments like that make my day. Shout out to you. And shout out to Baha Selig. The graphics don't suck, man. It's made to look like the cartoons. And they nailed it. Shout out to Dilmion. And who else we got? Who else we got? Shout out to Jessica Turner. Shout out to Brandon Ark. And I think that's everybody that wanted shoutouts. So thank you guys for joining me on our big virtual couch for some Transformers Devastation. We usually don't do early streams, but I'm trying to get some early streams in for those of you that aren't able to join us later in the day. I I want to accommodate. I want to like be able to stream when you guys are able to watch. Also, shout out to Angelo Leos. Okay, now I think we shouted everybody out that wanted a shout out. <laughs> All right. Once again, thank you, Massive Family, for joining us. Much love, and I'll see you guys again soon for another massive live stream. Hopefully, there'll be another one today, but we also have a video coming today or tomorrow, and, of course, Monday, or, like, that's when we got scheduled streams. Until next time, game massively. Oh, wait, wait, I missed a shout-out. Shout-out to God of Nukes. And shout-out to Joe Kim Legendal. Shout out to Joachim Legendo. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I really do. I'm sorry if I didn't. I'm just... I'm stupid with names. I'm stupid with names, yo. But thanks again, guys. See you soon. Thursday, Friday. Follow for notifications.